We are at the second annual Incarceration Festival. We've got Kelly from Buck Cherry, man. Thank you so much for taking time. Thanks for having me. Fresh off the stage. Still, still a little bit of perspiration. <laughs> a little bit of dew on the lily. Nice. Well, that's that's a different thing. Never mind. You guys sounded good. You guys look good. Thank you. Sounded tight, I'm man. Not used to playing this early. Right. Yeah. Uh, but we did it anyways. And I was like, first song, I was like, we're already tired. But like usually we play way later, and I'm not yeah. tired, so weird. Right. Anyways, but it was great. Album's out now. It's been out yeah. for a while March now. March 9th it came out, yes. I believe. A couple months. War Paint. You guys just announced the third leg of the tour for Northern Yeah, America. man. That's now. We got three legs. Yeah. <laughs> right? So you guys have been out supporting the record. Joyous Wolf has been out with you guys. Yeah, How has that been, watching a band like that? Because that band is so full of energy. Having a band like that support you guys. How has that been? Well, um... They got to play before us because we got a bunch of hits, right. so it's not that bad. Um, no, it's cool. They're a young rock and roll band. I mean, we wanted to bring a rock band. We didn't didn't want to, um, you know. It's just nice. It's fucking guitars, bass, drum, and vocals, and you know, I, I, I'm not scared. Right. And with war paint. It really reminds me of Black of uh, Black Butterfly a little bit. It's a couple different sounds on this sure, record. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, Intentionally. Little, yeah, a little bit of bluesy here and there. Yeah. Um, a lot of drop. We got some drop D. There's at least two or three drop D songs on three songs drop D on the record. Yeah, and I wanted to ask, doing uh, the Head Like a Hole cover, releasing that as the first song from the record. Well, they did release it as the first song from the record, but it was kind of just a, a little. For lack of a better word, a little leakage. Right. Okay. Um, we kind of just leaked it out. Um, it was one of those songs we were just we we're toying with, and we we're like, man, this sounds really good. And then we ended up recording it, and um, yeah, they just kind of like, I think it since it was a cover, it didn't really like blow any of the originals right. as far as that whole leaking it out. So what I think it was just kind of like, a, hey, here we come. What made you guys want to cover that song? Um, we love Nine Inch Nails. We're all big Trent, Trent Reznor fans. I mean, yeah, I mean, really, I mean, and 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 um, I just like the way we did it, and we're like, fuck, dude, we do it good, and it's it's kind of really in Josh's wheelhouse vocally too. True. And you know, it's hard doing covers, man. I mean, we love doing covers, but it's like at some point you kind of gotta like. Really, I don't know. It just felt like a good song to do. Right. It just felt natural. I don't think you guys have done a lot of covers over the years. You've done some, but no, not but we really do a lot. bits and pieces. Yeah. We do like little, little bits and pieces. I mean, we did say "fuck it" or yeah. "I love it." Yeah. Um, we that's a cover, but um, yeah, you know, we do like little, in, you know, we do like little pieces of songs. Like in the middle of "Crazy Bitch," we do "Jungle Boogie," and then I don't know if they know it, but I sneak in the bass line for um, "Ball of Confusion." Really. Boo -doo, boo -doo -doo, boo -doo 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 -doo. I just do it for like a little bit until we go into another. I just started playing that under my own, but yeah, we we. I mean, we're all big music geeks. We love playing covers. I have an ACDC cover band, the DCs, really? that I do. Yeah, actually, we open uh, we open for uh, Buck Cherry in Portland because nice. I'm based out of Portland. So and it was awesome. It was so much fun. We do all like Bon Scott era ACDC shit. Nice. But anyways, we love covers. We're all big music. I mean, we love everything. So across the board. So, War Paint, first re first record with Kevin. Keith left the band. How did bringing Kevin in affect the dynamic of the band, writing, and just the overall product? And how has it been having Kevin out on the road with you guys? Well, um, God, that's a that's a that's a big question. Hang on, let me. Kevin is um, Kevin is a fucking rock solid nails rhythm guitar player. He's also a lead singer by his own right. So he gave us. Um, Vocally, another edge. Um, our 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 uh, our background vocals have gotten fucking stellar, um, and he's kind of a quiet character. So uh, it was just really smooth, and we've known Kevin for years. Uh, uh, Stevie's Stevie's actually kind of the common denominator with everybody. So I've known Stevie for years. He's known Kevin for years. He's known Josh for years. I knew, I didn't know Kevin, but we ran in the same circles, and we were, it was like, hey buddy, it's kind of that, but um, yeah man, he's just solid, he's just fucking solid. And knowing, having known him for as long as these guys have before he came in, yeah. 
it, I wouldn't assume it, it would take long to adjust because you know no, it was, there's already that chemistry. It was, right there. you're absolutely right. It was supernatural. Both, it was super and natural, and it was supernatural. I love it. I so love it. it was good. Uh, Kevin's a fucking, he's just, he was like right. the right choice. Right. It just made the most sense. And in between records, there was about a three or four year span in between. Uh, Warpaint, the last record, Rock which is, roll. that's a long wait for you guys. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah um, it is. I, obviously, uh, Josh and Steve did the conflict. How did that long of a wait in between kind of refresh the band when you picked it back up? Well, I think it was good because, um, you know, when you get out there and, and, and tour too much, you can overexpose yourself. I think it was, the, it was good because... The crowd is, I could tell, is refreshed. And it seems like we're getting some younger people back into the shows, too. Which has been real. I was just like, I'm like, whoa, youngsters, nice. He has been around for a while, though. 20 years. Oh, yeah. 20 years. 20 years this year. Finally. Yeah, yeah. So. We're officially vintage. Yeah, this is true. Which is, it's weird to think Buck Cherry, 20 years of Buck Cherry. I know. To me, I still consider Buck Cherry a, a newer band in a lot of ways. But we're like, 20 years. yeah, 20 years. We're, I feel like we're kind of the last real cut from that cloth rock and roll band. We're like kind of the last, I mean, I know, you know, Joyous Wolf's newer and the Struts, yeah. but I feel like we're the last of the old guard still kind of like, I mean, I mean, I guess Guns N' Roses still goes out and does shit. I mean, we're not, obviously not as big as Guns N' Roses, but I feel like we're kind of like the last of the younger rock and roll band. It does sound as good as it does and as cohesive as it does yeah. as a testament. So. Yeah. And I feel like we still sound a little modern. Yeah. I mean, we play our rock and roll brand, but it always sounds, as long as Josh is singing, right. it's, you know, as long as we're not doing something, you know, obviously emo or whatever, you know, something that you're like, right. what the fuck are these guys doing? As long as it's rock and it's catchy and Josh is singing, it's going to sound like Buck Cherry. So, at a festival like Incarceration, yeah. it's, it's obviously, it's, it has the festival feel, but also has a different feel with the prison. Yeah. Playing a festival like this, how, does this have a different feel to you guys? Because you guys have played every festival. No, man. Long. Feels like I, 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 I. Okay, I'll give you the short and long of musicians and festivals. Unless, right. unless you're headlining, you get the deck first. You know, if you're headlining it, if you're playing bef before, it's a throw and go. What they call a throw and go. So you better hope your shit is. It's funny because the biggest shows are always like the, you get the least amount of time to do anything. Right. So this was like throw and fucking go um, on the fly. I'm looking at my tech. I'm, we have a, like an unwritten eyeball language. I can look at I can look at Kevin's and just go guitar, and he knows turn Kevin's guitar up, or I'll go Kevin vocal. And you know, we have like a so that's the cool thing. If you have to do that. Um, but I, it, it felt like I just, I like festivals because like I see my buddies here that I don't get to see. Right. And so that is awesome. It's obviously the crowds are amazing. It was a great this crowd. Fucking great. And, you know, going earlier, like we did, I would have liked to have been, I would have liked to have been later. I always want to play later. But, um. The crowd wasn't burnt because sometimes you'll play later on like a like we've done some where we've headlined and you get up there at 11 o'clock at night and these people's ears are fried they're drunk they're tired they're hungry and you're like oh we got fucked <laughs> right but they're, they're but you know they're still good but it's just like ah oh. right so this this crowd's great i've seen some of the biggest circle pits out of festival Dude, was, ever seen people today. crowd surfing yeah. for buck cherry i <laughs> love it if you're I, listening people I we shot, love it. I photographed Fozzie inside a circle pit yesterday, which was terrifying. But Where was that at? Here. Oh, there was a the one yesterday, too. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. So, oh, yeah, right it was on. crazy. This is probably one of my favorite festivals. That's so great. Yeah. It's cool. I mean, that building's cool. Yeah. I want to take a tour of it later. It's, we just did, and it's it's amazing. Hey, it's I'm going to so go. Amazing. I'm going to I'm gonna try and go later. Yeah. Awesome, man. Well, I'll let you go. Thank you so much Thank for taking time. Thank you so much for having it's me. It's so good to see you guys again. You're back, but Cherry going We're strong. Back. And uh Come hey. see us. We'll be there. Definitely. We'll be there in a city near you. Have fun on the road, man. All right. Thanks, man. Thank you.